Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. On this video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect your restricted area with your checkout. So first, you got to have a checkout page over here, just like this one. And also, you have to have a members area or a restricted area. You gotta, can you click over here and see that it is a restricted area. And to connect it with a checkout, you just got to come over here, click on this lock. Go all the way down to checkout. And over here, you're going to have three options there. Create page, create checkout, and link with a current restricted area. Create just a checkout and link with the restricted area. Or do nothing and you do this later. We're going to choose the first one to create a page, a checkout, and link it with the restricted area. Once you click on it, you're going to click on save. And then you're going to choose your layout. And it's not going to be your members area. It's going to be your normal area because you're just connecting it with another page. So you're going to choose your first layout. Click on save. And over here is where you're going to create a page. So I'm just going to name it Checkout Restricted Area. Do the same to the other one. Click OK. Over here you have the one step, two step, and three step checkouts. For this example, we're going to choose the three step checkouts just because it's going to show the one that we want for this example. We're going to click OK. Wait for it to load out over here. And once it says restricted area saved save successfully, you can close this down. We're going to go to our layouts and see that we have our checkout restricted area right here with our checkout already linked just the way we want to. We're just going to slide this down, make it fit to our screen. And over here, as you guys can see, we have a checkout linked with our members area or restricted area. To edit your checkout, you simply can go over here and change offer. So over here, you can put your item that is for sale, for example, image, the title, the description. If you want a thank you page for when someone buys it, they're going to be sent to this thank you page. You can also put a downsell page over here, the offer payment. You can change this over here. If you click on edit offer payment, we have PayPal, Stripe, Braintree, and Authorize.net. To create one, you simply just click on whichever you want. You give it a simple nickname. For example, checkout test. I click on confirm, it's gonna appear down here. Checkout test. You can put your email. And once you click save and go back to over here. And once you're back over here and you go to select your offer, your offers, you can simply click on it and you'll find your checkout test that we just created. You can select it. Next up, you select the currency of payment for this one. You can use US dollar. If you're using another one, we have all these different ones. If you have an expiration date for your product, if you want a automated email theme, you can just leave it at default. You can select a mailing boss list to connect. For this one, I'm just gonna connect my membership funnel. If you have a custom webhook, you can link it over here. If not, you can just leave this in blank. And if you have any coupons, you can also put them over here or you can create a coupon just right here. Once you're done setting up your checkout, you can click on next and you can see your item name right over here. This is where you're able to see that it is connected to your members area right here. This is checked. You can check it again. You can change the item name, the price and the description. And also if you want to put a discount over here. And the last thing that you can put is a email message. So for example, thank you for buying it. Thank you for shopping with us. It is like something like that. Once you're done, you can save or add item. I'm just going to save it and my offer will be saved. And once you're done setting everything up, what this means, what this connecting your members area with your checkout means is, let's just go on preview over here so I can show you guys. If someone lands on this page over here and goes to next and logs in, puts their email in, their first name, confirms their password, and actually buys the product over here, they will gain access to your restricted area through the login and register button right over here at the top. So once they buy it, they're going to have they're going to be redirected to your thank you page or whatever page you set them to be redirected to. And they're going to be able to come over here on your home button, log in and gain access to your restricted area with the email that they previously used on the login sign up page. And this is how you create a checkout linked with your members area. This is going to be it for the video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.